So last night I watched a version of Macbeth, which I really, really enjoyed. It's from 2010 and it stars Patrick Stewart. It's a production that gets the absurdity of Macbeth and the horror of Macbeth just right. For starters, Patrick Stewart has uh, grown an absolutely repulsive moustache. He looks a little bit like that YouTuber you might have seen who uh, comments on history and race with um, absolutely no undertones of anything shady. I think his channel is called something like The Reasonable Reich. And uh, Patrick Stewart actually dresses like him too. Often when you're watching a Shakespeare play that you've, you've watched before, the, the famous moments and the famous lines uh, really stand out. They can sometimes be the weakest moment of the production or the play. And that, that might simply be the, the fame of, um, of a certain delivery, of a certain actor's performance. Many actors have commented, for example, on, on Laurence Olivier's Richard III, destroying Richard III for a lot of actors for a long time or overshadowing their performances when they came to to do it. Laurence Olivier became like a demon they had to exercise. I was amazed watching this uh, film, how many of the famous moments that really crept up on you. You didn't feel the, even though some of them are staged to make the most of them and you can, you can hear the play gearing up for them. Patrick Stewart just either found an original way to do them that wasn't so original you know, when an actor tries to do almost like the opposite musical notation and it's just jarringly odd. It's like they're so afraid of sounding like a Laurence Olivier or someone else, maybe like a Patrick Stewart, that they, they go, oh, I'll just invert it. He just came up with all kinds of subtle and interesting ways to do the famous bits again and again, tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. Is this a dagger which I see before me was a, a brilliant scene. You know, or he would do something that, that sailed quite close to a memorable performance of the past, but just slightly tinkered with it a little bit. And I know this isn't really much of a hot take, but um, he, yeah, he's one hell of an actor, Patrick Stewart. But beyond any of the little bits or, or line deliveries or even speeches, the one thing that I thought really, really paid off in the production was just where they, where they imagined Macbeth was starting from. Patrick Stewart plays him as if he has the sort of ordinary sadism of a PE teacher that's vibrated into a much, much higher frequency by supernatural intervention. It really drives home the idea that this is a man in whom ambition has laid dormant, a man who needs a, um, a deus ex machina in the form of the three witches to bring that dormant ambition out. To me, if, if Macbeth is going to be funny, that's an essential ingredient. Macbeth is like overnight rhubarb. He has some of the ingredients to make a good king. He, he's obviously uh, a formidable warrior, but he's forced to learn all the other elements of statecraft and kingmanship in record time. And that makes him um, an odd figure, a, a surprisingly clumsy figure, maybe a little bit um, ghoulishly direct about some of his more uh, violent orders. He's got enough brains to be conniving, but he doesn't have enough time um, to lay a perfect plan. And the production, despite having this sort of fascist-tinged dystopian look to it, um, really found a surprising number of moments to, to get the most out of that absurdity. I was really impressed by it. And crucially, it wasn't done in a sort of um, pastiche way. The eye winked at the hand, but not at the audience. They were, they were moments that make you laugh out loud in the way that you know, absurd and terrible regimes when you read about them with the distance of, of time and you read about some of their excesses makes you laugh, um, even if it's, you know, shocked and appalled laughter. Is this a dagger which I see before me? The handle toward my hand. Come. Let me clutch thee. I have thee not, and yet I see thee still. Art thou not fatal vision, sensible to feeling? 